Abid here from DIYMalls.com. This is the first tutorial on Arduino accessories. In this episode, we will learn how to control high voltage electronic devices. We can do that using relays. Relay is actually a switch which is electrically operated by an electromagnet. And electromagnet is activated with a low voltage, for example 5 volt, from a microcontroller and it pulls the contact to make or break a high voltage circuit. As an example for this tutorial, I will use this 4 channel relay module. This is also known as 4R blue key because on the back side of this module, you can see a Bluetooth module which is integrated into this relay module. It facilitates you to control this 4 channel relay board through Bluetooth without making any input wiring connections to the relays. So, this is an extra feature which is added into this relay board and cannot be found in other relay boards which are commonly available in the market. Input rating of the relays on this board is 5 volt DC and output is 10 amps at 250 volt and 125 volt AC and 10 amps at 28 volt and 30 volt DC. As you can see on this relay module we have 4 relays and every relay has 3 terminals. So total these are 12 terminals. For each relay these 3 terminals are commonly known as the normally closed pin, the common pin and normally open pin. On the opposite side you can see there is a power supply circuit for this relay module. So you can input a voltage of 6 to 24 volts in the range. To activate the relays on this module we have two options. Either we can control through another Bluetooth transmitter connected to Arduino or either we can use a mobile application developed for this module by DIY Malls. So here in this tutorial we will tell you how to control this module using mobile application which is more convenient to use. For doing this we will obviously need a mobile application for which you can follow the link mentioned in the video caption. Other than that for the hardware we need to supply input power to the relay module and also we have to connect some device on the secondary side of the relay which we want to control. So right now we will control a buzzer just for the demonstration to show you how it is possible to control any secondary circuit without interfering the primary one. Here you can see the buzzer. As you can see we have created a setup and here we have power from secondary source and that is connected to the relays on the secondary side. Here we are controlling a small buzzer through the secondary voltage and the input power to this relay module we are providing it through Arduino's 5 volt and the power to Arduino is provided by a USB. So here we are going to use an application on the Android to control this relay module. So when you see the first page of this application you have to press the button scan and this is the device name that we have to connect to ZLRC04A. This means the 04 in this, div in this name it shows that we have four relays on this module. So we just have to click it and here you see the page to control the relays. There are buttons that shows on and off so you just press it and it will activate the corresponding relay. Here in the circuit you can see that we have connected the buzzer to the relay 4. So in the application I will press this relay 4 button and it will activate the buzzer. You see after I press the button it activates the buzzer. I will try it again. So this is how we can control a buzzer through the relays. So as you have seen that we have controlled a buzzer on the secondary circuit through the relay board and similarly we can control some other devices for example we can control a dust clamp or we can control 
some other uh, high voltage electrical device through using this board. So now you know how to control any high voltage electrical device using relays. In the coming tutorials, we will control some other electrical appliances to show how useful relays are in our daily life. We welcome your feedback and suggestions. That's all for this episode and see you next time. Bye bye.